Oh, I just connected to it for a second. I got visual. I can see the camera. It's right on the edge of this field, I think. Right, right at it. Many people probably wonder, what is storm chasing? Why do I and others do it? Storm chasing is an adventure, a chance to give back to society, informing, warning, and inspiring the world with images of both the ferocity and beauty that Mother Nature unleashes. As the years go on, the mind of a storm chaser begins to live in seasons rather than years. A cyclical venture of blizzards, tornadoes, hurricanes, monsoons, and more. Storm chasing is long hours on the road and at airports. Storm chasing is traveling to both new and familiar places, trying new and familiar foods. Storm chasing is blood, sweat, and tears in the pursuit of passion. What is storm chasing? It's a lifestyle. Do you really want to know what storm chasing is? Here's where I went and what I saw in 2022. You guys can see the screen? All right, what about now? Oh, oh. Chase your passion! AaronGJack.com, get your Chase Your Passion shirt. Woo! Got that drone. Wow! What a monster storm! All right guys, it's midday Thursday. We're still in the midst of this blizzard, continuing to dump snow here in Bismarck. We got a car stuck back here behind me. I'm gonna go help them out here in a second and pull them out. And here in Bismarck, still in the midst of the blizzard, blizzard, huge drifts starting to form now here with strong winds, whiteout conditions. Big tornado forming.
the ground. Tornado. Here just west of Lake Winnipeg, just north of Winnipeg. Tornado on the ground right there. Tropical Storm K here affecting the desert southwest. Big problems here along I-8 in Southern California. Aaron J. Jack and I am currently in Bonita Springs, Florida. Hurricane Ian is coming from this direction out here. Looks like this area and here to Cape Coral, Fort Myers. 
could be ground zero for landfall of Hurricane Ian. Tall winds of 155 miles per hour, just two miles shy of Category 5. The winds are really picking up. Tons of rain here. The winds coming here now. Conditions rapidly deteriorating here in Punta Gorda, Florida. Bonita Springs, Florida, where it got devastated by big time storm surge here. Road completely covered with sand. And I just talked to the gentleman that lives in this yellow house right here behind me. He said the water got into his second floor. He was here for the storm. And when the eye came through, he dove off his house and swam over to this greenhouse right here. All up to the second floor. Second floor, it was in the second floor? Yeah. And so did you have to swim to the greenhouse? No, it was more seeds, all this. Yeah. The water was all the way up to the second floor, but it was rushing in. Oh, okay. I got pictures of it. Yeah. It so how did you get over then? Uh, there was a wall in the storm, and all the thing got calm. I just dove. And the water I pushed dove. out? No, it just got real calm all of a sudden, and I just dove and went over. So you did have to swim? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Storm chasing is pursuing beauty with an aversion for disaster hopefulness that your communication in the path of fury might make others safe. Storm chasing is passion. It's capturing and telling the stories of the battle between beauty and disaster in a cyclical clash of the atmosphere. 